Right, so this is a fair rate, 2643 251002. And probably over the last year, it's been generally accepted as the uh, ferrite core of choice. It's 43 material, and that's for running 100 watts um, on digital modes. Um, I've done various back-to-back -back tests, and a lot of other people have done the same. And we all seem to come to the same conclusion that it's the most efficient across the HF spectrum. So leading on from this, we then come up with this uh, 56 to 1 transformer um, standard, basically a standard end fed half wave it's got 2 turns primary, it's got 15 turns secondary and the reason that it has an extra turn on the secondary which makes it a 56 to 1 was actually to give it uh, 40 metres to get a better match because I struggled with the SWR so that's where we were, had great success with that um, and a lot of people have actually uh, built this antenna. Now, going back just not too long ago, I was doing some experimentation on auto transformers, and this is one left over from that experiment. I've still not taken it apart yet. And the purpose of this was to get a core combination winding for running high power. So uh, up to kilowatt or perhaps a bit more. And I've, I've done that, I've proved that, um, that we could do that. But that got me then thinking, what if we were to take this uh, 1002 core and we were actually to wind this as an auto transformer? Now, I think some people have done this and I think somebody's perhaps copied, uh, somebody's uh, commented in uh, one of my videos that they've actually done this and they got much the same uh, efficiency as what we did for this. And um, so that's the results that I'm actually going to show you in this video here. I actually prefer winding the auto transformers. I found them easier and they're a bit less fiddly um, to do than the twisted primaries. So that's our auto transformer. So I actually put two of these back to back. So um, I'll put a picture on the screen here just now. I then hooked it up to the Nano VNA and the results were interesting. And that's what we're going to have a look at now. So, just going back a step, um, where are we? 56 to 1. Sorry, here. 15, 15 uh, secondary to primary. So this is this is the this is this is this antenna here. And you can see uh, I never checked on 160 initially, but I should have uh, for completeness. But you could see that we're almost 90, almost 90, almost 88, 8 to 8. 86 all the way up to 10 meters so a really efficient core nothing at all wrong with this this is the auto transformer which we're talking about here and you can see that we've actually gotten a little bit better again but i actually checked on 160 this time nearly 92 on 160 90 and a half on 80 uh, 90 and a half on 40 91 and a bit on 20 92 on 15 and 89.85 on 10. Now, I've actually graphed this, so from the auto transformer to the um, 56 to 1, and this is this is our graph here. Now, it looks a massive difference, but in reality, it really isn't that much at all. You, having, a look, having a look at the scale here, it goes between 85 and 93, and the lowest one that we've got is, is you know, is, is nearly 86. But it's just to demonstrate the differences or the auto transformer um, they're very similar lower down but as the, the frequency increases you can see that the auto transformer is a little bit better and if you look at kind of the biggest gap here there's almost 5% better efficiency on uh, 15 meters now whether you're going to do this or whether you're going to do this um, do I think you will see the difference in the real world? Uh, and the answer is absolutely not. So I would still say choose whatever you want to do. If you haven't already made this, then perhaps go with the auto transformer. But there may or may not be an elephant in the room. Um, as I said, the reason we went with a 56 to 1 was so we could actually get an, uh, uh, an acceptable match on 15. So... What's the next steps that we're going to do? 
I've actually used one of these auto transformers because this was the pair that I needed and I've actually made a mock-up. So this is actually about chopping board. You can buy this, you know, chopping boards. I think these were literally uh, one pound each, so a little bit over a dollar. Um, and I just, this was actually an off cut for something else, hence why it's a funny shape. But I've just made it as a jig and this will be our end-fed half wave to actually test. So I've used a decent enough SO239 gold plated contact. Just cable tied it to the board, put a couple of holes through it. And this is our connection for our antenna here. So once we get to the better weather, I'm going to hook this up to a 66 bit of wire. Or there, there are there about 66 foot, 21 metres. And we're going to actually see if we can get all the harmonic bands uh, linked in. And then we'll be able to compare it to standard uh, 56 to 1. So, if you've going to be making one of these, um, or if you've made the auto transformer, let me know down in the comments again. I think somebody has done this, but please remind me. How did you get on with it? And when you actually hooked up a wire to it, um, did you actually get a match on all the bands? So all going well, we can get all the bands to match on this. This would be the uh, 100 watt NFED half wave going forwards for my personal choice. But as I say, when you look at the difference, there really is nothing uh, between them. And on air, I don't think you're honestly going to, uh, to see the difference. Okay, guys, just a short one. Hopefully that was of some interest to you. And we'll catch you on the next one, hopefully not too long, when we've got a wire connected to this. Bye for now.